In front of me, I have my QAV400 with DJI NASA connected to my computer running the NASA Assistant version 2.20. And I have my FreeSky Tyrannus binded to my QAV400. And what I'd like to demonstrate in this video is how to use your Tyrannus to set up three flight modes. This is the SE switch by default it's in GPS attitude mode. Then I switch into attitude and then into manual. In addition to that, we also have the fail safe on the SF switch so that at any point in time, the switch will override the current flight mode and you can toggle into fail safe. And you'll notice that no matter what flight mode I try to toggle into, this fail safe takes precedent. Okay, to get started, you wanna make sure you have channel five going down here to the U port on your NASA. And that U port is where you'll see in your NASA Assistant, the control mode switch to toggle your different flight modes. Now OpenTX makes this pretty intuitive to do. So what I wanna do is walk into the menu. So you see we have the QAV selected. So I'm gonna page into page number six and you see our standard input channels. And I'm gonna to go to channel five, which is the one we have connected to the U port. And we're gonna start here and create our first mix. Okay, for this first mix, I'm gonna call it GPS Addy. Okay, now that we have the mix name, I'm gonna go down to source and hit enter. And we're gonna set the source to this SE switch. And you'll notice that as I switch it, it dynamically picks up that change. For example, if I were to twist this S1 knob, you'll see that it changes to S1. And you'll see as I turn that knob, our slider will move. So that's just a side note, pretty cool that it dynamically picks up what switch you're toggling. Okay, so our source is SE, I'll hit enter. Then I wanna go up to switch and I wanna set the switch position. So I'm gonna hit enter and we actually want the switch position when it's all the way up. So now you'll notice that if I'm up, middle, and down. So up is, is all the way back to the back of the transmitter. Okay, now with our offset, I'm gonna hit enter, and we're right at zero, so I'm gonna hit the plus button. I'm gonna keep pressing it, press and hold, and you'll get a little bit, it'll move faster, and you can see we're moving over here. Fail safe, and I wanna get it just so it's right in the middle of GPS. Okay, so we got our slider right in the middle of GPS. And that puts us at a, a value of about 170. Now, your settings may differ. I've had several people email me say that their offsets or weights are different. But as long as you can get the slider in the right place, that's really all that matters. So I'm going to hit enter again and hit exit. We'll exit out. And you'll see that we'll have channel 5, SE source. The switch is up. And that's GPS attitude mode. Okay, with GPS attitude mode set, that can be a template for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And I'm gonna copy this, hit enter again, and hit down one, and you'll see that we show up underneath. So I'll hit enter, press and hold enter, and edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to just Addy mode. I'm gonna go to switch, hit enter, and now in this case, I want it to be just the middle position. So I'm gonna flip it up one, and you'll see that minus, which just shows the midpoint. I'll hit enter, and then we'll go back and we'll set our offsets. So I'll bring, because it maintained our offset from our GPS Addy mode, since we copied it, I'm, I'm gonna bring it down and keep coming down. And then that looks good right about there, so I'll hit enter. It says an offset of six, so I'm gonna exit out of that, exit again. And you'll know if we'll go there. We got GPS attitude mode. Then in the middle, we have attitude mode. And finally, we'll set up manual next. Now to configure manual mode, I'll go down. And we're going to copy. Hit down one. Hit enter. And now you can see we're right here. So I'm going to hit enter. Edit. And we're going to change this to manual. Okay, our name is set. I'm going to go down to switch. Hit enter, and then I'm going to put switch all the way 
in the down position. We'll go back and we'll set up our offset. We have a minus 162. Hit enter, exit, exit. Now we have our mode set up. And what I found helpful in the menu as well is you'll notice that as I toggle the switch, it highlights what mode I'm in. So now let's go ahead and look at configuring this switch as an override to toggle into failsafe. Now in our mixer menu, I'm gonna go scroll down and we still want this switch to be configured on channel five. So I'll do something a little differently. I'm going to hit enter here and I'm gonna hit insert after. That'll create a new mix after the one I just selected. We're gonna name this mix failsafe. Okay, now we'll go down and set our source. And I flip that switch. See that our source goes to SF, so that's good. And then I'll go all the way down to switch. And now we want that to go in the down position. So I'll hit enter. Okay, now in my opinion, this is the magic trick to get this to work because we want this to override our flight mode switch. So you'll see the multiplex set at add and we actually want to change that to replace. So if you were to leave that as add, then when you set your offset, what would happen would be when you were in any of the three flight modes, when you toggle your fail safe, it would actually add that offset to it. And what you want to do is replace it or basically override. So I'm going to hit enter and we're going to set our offset. Okay, so let me toggle into fail safe. You'll see it go over. Now let me bump up our offset. Now you can see I'm moving the offset over. And just keep moving it. We'll make sure that fail safe is nice and centered. Offset is at a minus 64, so I'll hit enter. Then we're gonna exit. And now you can see that for channel five, we actually have GPS attitude, attitude, manual, and then fail safe on our other switch. And as I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, see our flight modes, and then let me just toggle into fail safe. Now if I mess with any of these flight modes, that fail safe is overriding those inputs. That's how you configure your FreeSky Tyrannus for your different flight modes and then the fail safe override on channel five. Now that could easily be taken to any other channel. Now this thing is awesome with all these different three position switches, but at the same time it's kind of a marriage between great hardware and then software because OpenTX is highly configurable. So I'll continue to share what I hope are helpful tips as I continue to figure out more about this Tyrannus. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and thanks for watching.